God hears. So you can't speak against God's servant. Because God hears what comes out of your mouth. Like I said earlier, he knows our thoughts are far off. Before you even mumble about it, he heard you thinking. So you got to be careful of what you say against the man and the woman of God. You got to be careful what you say against your brother and sister. Verse of the 
think true. God was talking now. So that goes to our lesson for today. God had given the laws and the commandments to Mount Sinai. God was trying, amen, to bring the people of God into a place, amen, that he would rule, amen, as a righteous people. But he had to get the stubbornness out. He had to get the stiff neckedness out. Amen. And we know all throughout, amen, they still, amen, wrestle with that same problem. But the Bible says, after he gave his ten commandments, verse 18, all the people saw the thunderings, the lightnings, and the noise of the trumpet. I'm in the 20th chapter. And when the people saw it, they were moved. They got away from the mountain. And the Bible said they stood afar off. Look at verse 19. And this is what they said unto Moses. I found this kind of funny. Now they want to say unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear you, Moses. But let not God speak with us unless we die. He got his attention now. He's got the children of Israel's attention now. And sometimes God's got to use your darkness to get the attention of others that surrounding you. To get their respect and their reverence. Ain't no way she could have done that or gone through that if God wasn't with her. Ain't no way she could have God ain't no way she could have healed her own body except God be with her. It's to get the respect and the attention of those naysayers. Verse 20. And Moses said unto the people, here we go again. Fear not. For God came to prove you that his fear may be before your face that ye sin not. Verse 21. And the people stood afar off and Moses drew into the thick darkness. That's what got me. Moses drew into the thick darkness. He went on into the thick darkness. He went on in there where
Hallelujah. Number two, I said it earlier, stand still. What does that mean? It means to allow the peace of God to rule in your heart. Allow the peace of God to settle in your mind. 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. You got to wrap your mind around the word of God in order to have the peace of God. Apostle gave us Amen. It's a beautiful acronyms in the Bible class. If y'all don't join them on Bible class, you got to get into the Bible class. The Word of God is rich on Facebook. Amen. Peace. He gave a five-letter acronym. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace. Peace is pressure. Exits as calmness enters. Exits as calmness enters. You can have calmness in God, all hell can be breaking all around you. But you can have the peace that passes all understanding. I can't figure it out. I don't understand it, but it ain't for me to understand. I've got peace in the midst of my dark place. How do I respond? Another way I respond in my darkness. The last one is to see, set yourself, and see the salvation of the Lord. Expect God to move on your behalf. Amen. See his hand in the midst of your trouble. And don't forget to praise him while you're in the midst of your trial. Amen. It'll make your testimony a little bit better. In my closing, I'd like to leave with you, amen, 2 Corinthians 4 and 8. It says we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but we're not in despair. We're persecuted, but we're not forsaken. We're cast down, but we're not destroyed. Look at your neighbor and say, I got favor in the flip. <laughs> Meaning, I'm afflicted on every side, but I'm not distressed. Meaning, I'm not worried. God got me in this. I'm perplexed, meaning I'm puzzled in it, but I'm not in despair. Meaning, I'm not overcome with the sense of defense. Of, 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 of defense. I'm persecuted, meaning I'm harassed by the enemy. Yes, sir. Says I'm caught, I'm cast down, but I'm not destroyed. Don't you know God loves you in the midst of what you're going through? He's not doing it for your home. He says, I have, I know the thoughts that I think to. Says the Lord, thoughts of good and not evil to give you an expected end. God got an expected end for all of us. Amen. And in the midst of our storm. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Aaron.
Redeem. 